In this video, we're going to take a look at how to locate images in convex or divergent images. So unlike the previous example of concave or converging mirrors, the convex or diverging mirror only has one possibility in terms of the salt table. So if we start as you normally would, which is to draw a line that's parallel to the principal axis, if you remember from the introduction to curved mirrors, this line should pretend as if it's going through F, but actually reflect out the other way. So the easiest way to do that is if we draw a line that starts at F and goes to where these uh, the light ray intersects the mirror, we can then go ahead and draw solid lines to show you where the real light is. And then we can make shift a dotted line back here to show you that this is just for us to work with and it's not really where the light goes. But this portion on the right hand side is going to come in handy later. Uh, we can then pick any of our other rules. The rule I'm going to choose is to go through F. Um, and then we're going to see how that comes out parallel later. So again, if you remember that whenever you cross the mirror, you should uh, create a dotted line. So I'm going to just start off with this faint line here. Anything on the left will be represented by a solid line, just to show us that this is, again, uh, what we're going to call kind of real light That's this is really happening. And then we're going to draw a line that comes out parallel to the principal axis like this. Now, the uh, working line we've drawn over here, the really faint uh, green line, is actually not super important because we're not going to use this one. What we have to use is the line that would be extended from the reflected ray. So the reflected ray is the one that has come back parallel to the principal axis. So what we're going to do is if we extend this reflected ray back behind the mirror, this is the light that is most important to us because this is the one that's going to help us figure out where our image is. So it's we follow this line and we're going to see that again, this red and blue or sorry, red and green dotted lines intersect right here, which means this is where our image is going to be. So in this case, and is, uh, as will be with every case for convex mirrors, the image is smaller than the object. It's upright, as in pointing in the same direction. The location is just going to be behind the mirror. And it's always going to be that case. And the type of image, again, is always going to be virtual, because it's made up of these uh, dotted lines, so not necessarily real light that's traveling. If you haven't had a chance yet, I would highly suggest you take a look at this gizmos and allows you to uh, play with convex mirrors and allows you to kind of move objects back and forth and see how the resultant image is changed. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, get subscribed, leave a comment below, and check out our suggested videos. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future updates.